And now I'm going to go a little bit into the nuts and bolts um, and how we can, how you can actually use the framework. So if we go on to the next slide, this is one that you may have, uh, see, you've seen before, you may recall from earlier presentations, which really just outlines the objectives and the approach that we took with this. So, you know, we really looked at the key metrics um, that we wanted to recommend for you for a compensation and reporting uh, and then obviously we've talked a lot about how to consolidate and how to build them into compensation. Um, the idea here is not, you know, we've come from this big universe of about 1200 metrics. We've tried to create, the, create a, a framework um, that's a little bit easier for you to navigate. So we've categorized these according to the type of metric. So, you know, is it an absolute value, uh, a quantifiable numerical value, which is what companies tend to focus on, or is it related to a broader effort that a company could be putting into? And I think this is where we see, like I said, a lot of the opportunity, uh, because this is where also agent rating agencies and, uh, you know, organizations are focusing, um, uh, are, are looking and building their, their assessment of, of companies uh, as well. So... Uh, you know, whether it's uh, implementation of a policy or, you know, frequency and transparency and reporting, et cetera, these are all things that are also valued. So we wanted to call those out for you. And those are certainly included in this uh, short list then of metrics that we recommend. So out of this 1200, we've really tried to narrow down into 170 unique metrics that we think could be relevant from a reporting and a compensation perspective. And we've put the categorized them, like I said, according to the type of metric, as well as to the topic, uh, the, so thematically, uh, if they belong to ES or G um, in, a, in a kind of a more granular category. We've also assigned GRI codes to all of them so that when you come to, when it comes to your GRI reporting, you can make sure that they are, you know, you're being uh, as thorough as, as possible and you know which categories they fall into. Um, so for these 170, like I said, it's really, the intention is not that all 170 should be included in your reporting and your compensation. Obviously, depending on your company, on your um, strategic priorities, on your ESG priorities, you will then pull from this pool of 170 um, to, to select the ones that are most relevant for your company. What we try to do is really narrow down to a short list uh, to make it a little bit easier for you to navigate. Um, like I said, for your compensation, but also for your reporting. We believe that if you have more thorough reporting, more comprehensive reporting, then obviously there's a, a broader story that you can tell to investors, to shareholders, and also to be more thorough uh, with the rating agencies. Mm -hmm.